Welcome, Laurel Holland here. I'm a life coach who helps people become successful and satisfied leaders of their lives. If you've been following me on video or blog this year, you'll know that this year we're focusing on developing and understanding masterful habits that will allow us to create a life that we really love. One that we feel really good about and one that we are consciously creating instead of kind of moving haphazardly or as Napoleon Hill would say, becoming just a drifter in life and just going with the flow of what's going on around you and not setting clear intentions about how you want to live your life. Today's masterful habit is purposely opening and closing your experience. Take your day for an example. Your every day, you want to purposely open and close that day. Every experience that you have, you want to purposely open and close that experience. Every relationship, every work experience, you name it. The more specific and smaller time moments that you get into, the more clear you become around your overall purpose in life. And then, the more readily and capably you walk the path that's really about your clear intentions in your life. So what are the three practices associated with purposely closing and opening your moment-to-moment -moment experience, your day, and even your life? Setting intentions is the first one. This is where it's a little different than setting goals. And it's not that you won't set goals too, but setting intentions is really more inner work. And it's about being clear on the inside, your intent, your inner tension, tendency, to know what direction you're going in, okay? So you want to be clear about your intention. So as you begin your day, you want to be clear, what am I doing today? What, how do I want to be in this day is really more about my intention. It's not so much what I'm doing. I'm clear about what I'm doing and my activities during the day, but I want to be clear about how I'm experiencing my day because then I can vibrate at a higher level, I can bring more joy into my day, and I can remember that I can enjoy my day. I can do my day in joy. I can do it purposely and clearly and with the enthusiasm that I want to bring into the moment. So setting your intentions for the day. Really taking the time in the morning. I know for me, I've talked about this an awful lot now. Everybody probably knows it who's following me, but I, every morning I meditate. I have a long session where I'm sitting still with myself and I'm getting really clear about my experience. I'm getting really clear about my connection to divine wisdom. I'm getting very clear with myself about who I am and what I'm doing. So setting intentions is an important practice and one you want to get into bringing into your moment-to-moment -moment experience. And you can start with just the day. What is your intention for the day? Bring an intention into the day. Then, as you go through your day, you want to reflect on your intention. You want to make adjustments if necessary. And you want to really notice, 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 notice. Are you fulfilling your intention? How are you doing with it? And what might you need to change in order to do that? These are some of the questions that you would ask in order to really fulfill your intention for the day. And then at the end of the day, you want to make a review of your day. In really wonderful spiritual practice, oftentimes we do what we call unwinding the day, where you take some time where you work your way backwards through the day, and it's almost like you undo any residual connections or threads that you've collected during the day so that you're really free to go forward and experience the next moment unencumbered by the day before. So you really want to take some time at the end of the day, even if you're not going to unwind your full day, you want to gather some wisdom from the day. From your intentions, gather wisdom. What happened during the day? What are you going to carry forward? What's, what's some knowledge or truth that you experienced today about yourself, about others, about life that you carry forward? And you want to take some time to celebrate. Really celebrate, not as in having a big party at the end of every day, but maybe you might do that sometimes, but celebrating in terms of like acknowledging, wow, how was today? Did I have a good day? How did I make this day the way I wanted to? Yay for me and, and thank you, a gratitude for those that helped you create the kind of experience you wanted in that day. These are three wonderful practices that will help you become more purposely intending and experiencing and enjoying your life. So you want to purposely open and close. 
I hope you are able to really bring this masterful habit into your day-to-day -day experience starting today. It is the end of the month. I'm closing this month of March with a clear intention about how to close. And in closing this month, I'm going to be beginning next month with a new set, a new look. And so I enjoyed the whiteboard experience. I hope you did. I think there's some help here with the three practices. I'm not really sure exactly where I'm going to go next month, but I have some ideas about it. And so I hope you'll tune in and, and see where I'm going next month and what my new set looks like and what the new, what the new enjoy experience will be. Don't forget to come and visit us at focusinginward.com where we're always posting new videos, new insights, and new columns about focusing inward and turning inward, being on the journey of self-discovery, and what sometimes struggle, and, but also triumph we experience when we do walk the path of inner wisdom. Have a great rest of your month. Have a good holiday weekend if you're celebrating, and we'll see you in April.